guys, so we're about to check out some more TVXQ for Take Me Back. We're gonna catch out, catch out. That's, I, I say check out, but the title of the song messed me up. We're gonna check out Catch Me. Damn, bro, they really messed me up with the title. Anyways, it's been quite a while as it's been with Take Me Back for most groups not named Tiara, Shiny, and uh, Girls Generation. Those kind of were the ones I ended up like sticking around with for a while longer. Uh, not because of loss of interest in other groups, just because like of an abundance of interest in those in particular. But TVXU do have bangers that I have checked out before. I haven't checked out a crazy amount. To be exact, I have checked out Chance of Love, Miritich, Miritich, I still can't remember. It was Miritich, Mirot, was it? Can't remember. Miritich is because there was a basketball player named Miritich. Hug, Hug, and Keep Your Head Down. Those are the only TVXQ songs I've checked out. And like I said, as I've mentioned, obviously, Catch Me isn't one of them. So if you wanna uh, let me know some songs for TVXQ to go to, or some other Take Me Back stuff, comment section's right there. My Twitter's also in the description, or you can just go to my Twitter if you follow me already, and suggest stuff to me for Take Me Back, because I'm doing it Monday through Friday, so far, trying to keep it going, and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's bringing back a lot of, a lot of fun. And I'm getting back into a group that I haven't checked out since May 2019. I actually reacted to M Black earlier, and they were also last time in May 2019, so uh, it's been a while. So let's check out TVXQ's Catch Me. Alright, TVXQ, Catch Me. Is this highest quality bill? Oh, probably just because it's over here, yeah. Okay, what's going on? Oh, everything. Oh, some big ass either lights or speakers. Hello? I already, I already can... Woo! Wow, I love how they're mirroring each other. God damn, their vocals, my goodness. It's just still going up. I do like a lot of like there's like a lot of locking combined with like having like the metal things to their arms right making it look a little bit more like robotic and the song is very electronic as well Dude, you know why? Cause, like, like I'm, I'm liking the song, right? I'm liking the song, but the the MV is kind of they're going very like, almost like creating mechanisms. I don't, I still don't know. I haven't looked it up, but I think when like you form a kind of a figure or like you form something as a group, like whether you turn into a car and you're, like your your legs are like the wheels and people are moving their legs and it moves along, and I think it's called transformations. I could be wrong. Um, but they, they're not necessarily transforming into specific things, but they're kind of like working like as, as a mechanism and the song be like electronic, having like these kind of sounds and then also having like the metal on their arms and stuff like that. It's very pleasing thematically. I don't know. I'm hopefully I'm right. And that's what they were going for. Cause that's what I got out of it. <laughs> I like, it's like they're, they're holding him up. I like the whole, they're holding him up and then they all work together to pick him up. Oh no, they splashes! They kicked it up, they kicked it up ten notches. I was already interested. Dude, see, it's like it's like this is like very like robotic. Nah, that wasn't fucking real. 
That was that was way too smooth to be real, bro. There's some digital shit there. There's no way. That was so good. Well, there, there's some aspect of digital. There's like a light that comes through, unless their their arms literally lit up. But that looks so smooth, bro. I mean, it is possible for that to look that smooth naturally. That's sick. Oh my god. It's a cool ass MV. And also, it's, it's, like, it's simple, but it's like what they're doing in it. I say simple, but a lot of hard work goes into this song. Like, set wise, it's simple. One thing about TDX2 you can never knock, bro, is their vocals. Oh my gosh. Is that real what they're splashing to? I think it is, because I saw ripples when they like move. Yeah, it is. It feels like everything they're doing is just being done so well that it looks fake almost. I think it's a bridge. It's a dope ass bridge. Now, like this song is like electronic, but it's so vocally fucking strong. You don't expect a bridge like what they went with, dude. I'm telling you, everything they've done, choreo wise, and like what they're pulling off, the water splashes, the lighting up of like the arms, which I think that's done digitally. I don't think that's actually like the arms lighting up. Like I don't think it's built into what they're wearing. It's being done so perfect that it looks fake as fuck, but I think it's real. I'm pretty sure it's real. Like, there was a part of me that tried to find something going wrong just to know it was real. <laughs> this is so good. When they found that one thing where he like flexed like that, I don't think I went back far enough to see it, but that was cool as hell. This is sick! You know how much you have to practice this for this to look this perfect? Or just how good you have to be after practicing it? Because if like one person is off when they do these things, it doesn't look as good as what they did. It's still impressive. Okay, this song. Ooh! This song's hot. I like this song. It looked like a bit of like, like the, like the traditional like the haka stuff towards the end. Um, oh my god. Maybe it just resembles it. It kind of reminds me. It reminds me a bit of, uh, of uh, Miro from, from Stray Kids. And they have like the haka dance there because they have members that are uh, New, New Zealand or Australia. Oh my god. I look like such a fraud. I know, trust me. <laughs> Dude, as a concept, as a whole, this was sick. On top of the song being good, and obviously they're incredible, just singers and everything, but like the, the choreo, the choreo itself is just so impressive. It's like, it's, al it's almost like watching art, cause like they're like forming things and you could like catch like a screenshot or a picture of any of the things they're forming and it's like a work of art. They form the snake, they form like extended versions of his arms when he was flexing. Like the picking up and like holding it back before tipping over and everything just looked connected. You know, like it, it honestly just looked like a mechanism. That was sick. I enjoyed that. 
Uh, let me know if you want me to check out uh, more. Uh, I know you probably want me to check out more TVXQ, but let me know what you would like me to check out for TVXQ next. Uh, the week you're watching this, if you suggest something, you definitely won't see it for at least two weeks. And just know anything you suggest here, just you definitely won't see it for at least two weeks. But uh, let me know regardless what you'd like me to go next, whether it be with TVXQ or with anyone else for Take Me Back, because y'all been here before. But if you're new here, <laughs> hi. Hey.